One, some call it transition. First, I'll speak of my personal experience. Son of a pastor and married to the daughter of a pastor, I promised when I proposed to Layla that I would not be a pastor. Layla did not want to be a pastor's wife. My intentions were good and my passion for romance, I forgot to ask God. Both our parents were wonderful and godly people. However, as children, we witnessed their struggles. Our plans were to be faithful to God as loyal parishioners and support pastor's families. My personal ambitions included being a professor, FBI, journalist, ad infinitum. I was a restless soul. We moved 13 times in seven years of marriage. Layla asked me to consider pastoring. I agreed to talk to the administrative bishop to please Layla. We ended up accepting a one-room church building with no functional restrooms and 17 people. Full devotion was given to remodeling and enlarging facilities and purchasing and building in a new location. Money was in short supply, interest rates went to 21%, and we struggled for our own family. I sold used cars, painted houses, and taught in a local community college to provide for our family. We saved nothing and still owed school bills. In our fifth year, the Lord blessed us with income. We purchased a home, better car, and a piece of land. However, I became burdened for pastor's families. The Lord spoke to me. Layla and I resigned the pastorate, sold our home, and moved our family of four into an apartment in Blacksburg, Virginia. We both enrolled in doctoral programs at Virginia Tech. Financially, we struggled, borrowed, no savings, but it mattered little because we believed our education would provide a good income. I changed to the University of Virginia and for one semester lived in a 20-foot mobile home that belonged to a church. Layla and I and the children were only together on weekends. We sold our organ to pay hospital bills for a newborn baby boy we later adopted. He came to our home when three days old. While still in school, I was a consultant with refugees. Frequent trips to New York City. We were planning on moving to Paris, London, Moscow, New York, wherever. God intervened, closed every door. On the same day, the Holy Spirit spoke to Layla and to me. We assume responsibility for a worship congregation of 60 Caucasians in Charlottesville, Virginia. I committed to the pastoral role with a quiet resolve to be gone in two or three years. Compensation included a salary of $300 and a contribution to the minister's retirement fund equal to 6% of the salary. Age 35 and healthy, retirement seemed in another lifetime. We bought a fixer-upper. It was a successful venture. We cashed in a few thousand in ministerial retirement and gave it to the missions, gave it to World Missions. That our family would serve Covenant Church 39 years never occurred to me. I knew God had called us to the task. I believe God would, with a clarion voice, tell us when to leave. Alone in meditation, the Holy Spirit spoke. It's time. It was a powerful moment. I walked across the road, the yard, opened the kitchen door and said to Layla, start packing. I was 75 years old and had had pancreatic cancer surgery. God did a healing miracle. What are you saying? She asked. Where are we going? The girl loves to travel. We're leaving Covenant, I responded. When? She asked. The end of next month, I replied. Could we not stay a few weeks longer until our 39th anniversary at Covenant? She spoke tenderly as a statement more than a question. I do not think that will offend the Holy Spirit ended that conversation, but began a whole new world of planning. Let's talk about some takeaways. We had a plan for ministry after pastoring. Two, for more than 20 years, we traveled across the U.S. while on vacation, vacations ministering to pastor's family. Three, we developed a nonprofit to raise funds for encouraging the saints. Four, we never owned the church, did not call it our church. Five, I practiced a lifestyle of preparing covenant for the next pastor. Six, I developed and maintained business relationships and friendships outside covenant church. Seven, I refused for my persona to be subsumed by a position that I knew would be temporary no matter how long we served the congregation. Eight, I have lived 40 years with a latent tumor in my jaw that if it begins to grow could end or greatly hamper my ability to speak. Nine, 
We invested to prepare, not for retirement, but to provide for our family in the event there was no financial support from the congregation. 10, we ask God to help us plan to be able to live and have funds to give to ministry in addition to tithing. 11, we left five days after our last Sunday on an extended mission trip. 12, we have not had a single day of regret about transitioning from pastoring into our current role as missionaries. Our